Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a recreation of the look I did a few days ago and you guys loved it on my Snapchat. You were commenting, you would like to see it. This is the look. Um, the color is a little bit washed out because of my lights. This is a classic smoky eye with a new palette from Dose of Colors. The palette, oh my God. Anyway, so we can jump on the tutorial. So before I put my foundation, I'm gonna spray my face with coconut uh, setting spray by Draxmatics. Okay, now I'm going with Kiko foundation, which is actually called liquid skin. Oh, my shade is neutral 40. Mm -hmm. Even though it's lightweight, um, it covers my blemishes, which is amazing. And what I like about this foundation is that it's buildable. So if you need more coverage, you can definitely build it. Can you tell how um, narrow is my bun? Look at that. I never know how to do it properly. Like it's always on that one side. Okay, so I'm going to conceal now and I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy, Cris Creamy Concealer in Custard. And I'm gonna mix it up with NYX Sculpt and Highlight. Face Duo Concealer and Shade Almond Light. The center of my nose. Yeah, um, this NYX shade is a little bit more like on a yellow side. So, I don't know. I just wanted to play with colors. <laughs> Okay, I love this combo. The shade, the coverage. Mm, I'm impressed. Now I'm using my Laura and Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm gonna set everything. have such a bad allergies on spring it's crazy I cannot even go outside normally that's like so frustrating you cannot go outside without you know your eyes getting teary and your nose it feels like you have a powder or whatever it's always tickling and I hate it and I'm gonna spread the powder all over my face what's left over on my beauty blender And I'm taking my MAC Bronzer Refined Golden and I'm gonna bronze my face. Oh shit, my hair is full of powder. Like this bronzer was one of my favorite bronzers throughout the years and it was such an amazing bronzer that I definitely forgot about. I think everyone has their own favorite bronzer from MAC and uh, yeah, Refined Golden is my fave. I mean, I love Give Me Sun as well, but I think this one is the one I grew up with. So yeah. Um, the only thing I'm gonna contour is definitely my nose. Uh, and I'm gonna take my Jouer Suntan Bronzer for that. I feel like lately my skin is drier than usually. I don't know what's happening, maybe. I'm using some cream that doesn't fit my skin type, I don't know. But I've seen some changes and that's like, oh my God, what? something bad is happening, you know, blend, 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 it's all in the blending. And for the blush, I'm using the So Susan Cashmere Blush in shade Ballerina. It's a nice pink shade. And for that, I'm gonna be using Spotlight Duster Brush from Sigma. I think this blush is like super pigmented, yeah. So be very careful with this. Anyway. I'm gonna use the Gold is the New Black from Dose of Colors. Uh, highlighter and a strobing fan brush by Sigma. I mean So pretty Like that 
I like to apply bronzy highlighters on my forehead, mostly here, because that's the these are the points where the sun is naturally gonna hit your face and you're gonna look like a glowing goddess as well. On the nose. So I'm gonna go back to the Slay All Day setting spray and just spray my face once again just to make everything look fresh and not powdery. So the queen of today's look is going to be Baked Brown's palette that Dose of Colors recently launched. Um, the shades are, I mean guys, so freaking amazing. Look at this. This is great for everyday wear or when you go out. I'm starting with this shade here. It's called Tea Light and I'm gonna put it like here on my brow bone. Like the only downside, I mean downside, of this palette is it has a fallout, but I would say it's so freaking pigmented that it has to have a fallout, I mean. And then I'm going with the second shade, which is called Deserted. Um, just spread the color on your crease as a transition. Can you tell how swollen are my eyes? <laughs> Crazy. Now I'm taking the tapered blending brush E35 by Sigma and I'm gonna go with this like red tone brown and I'm applying it into the crease like that. And I'm gonna go over it once again and blend. I'm tearing. <sighs> now I'm taking diffuse crease brush and I'm gonna use this, the darkest brown here, which is called Rock Bottom. Like so. Now I'm taking the cream color brush and I'm gonna take this middle shade here, which is called Outdoorsy. So I'm just gonna apply onto my lid here. Okay, now let's put the shade onto my bottom lash line. I'm gonna start with this shade first. And I'm just... So I'm applying the shades in the same row like I did on my upper part of my eyes. First I'm just applying the shade and after I'm, I'm gonna go over it and blend everything together. I'm tearing up. Okay, so I'm taking small blending brush. I'm gonna mix these two shades together. Much, much better. And I'm taking the full spectrum eyeliner from Makeup Geek Cosmetics in shade Espresso. And I'm going to apply it onto my waterline. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm gonna use this pomade by BH Cosmetics in shade um, Ebony. And as you can tell, I do have more of bushy eyebrows. So the rumor has it, uh, I cannot do them like a perfect Instagram eyebrows eyebrows you know taking this angled brow brush by Sigma thing I always do whenever I do my eyebrows I start from the bottom I will pull the line like that and like all the way to here to make my eyebrow look a little bit longer and I'm just gonna fill them in a little bit like so. You can actually tell where uh, where I have holes, like vault spots here, here, and here. So these are the areas where I put the majority of color.
and with the leftover i'm gonna do feathery strokes like upwards like like that See? so you're mimicking the hair growth now I'm gonna put my mascara and I'm using the Linen Low Mineral Makeup Instant Love Mascara. This is this mascara is awesome actually. That's the only mascara I've been using lately. Okay, can you tell? It looks so good. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Good, right? So my eyes are getting really teary and I'm gonna wait until this stops. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do my lips and I'm gonna be using this Makeup Geek um, new matte lipstick in shade Waltz. I mean, it's a cream stain. The only thing I really don't like about this product is that they're like pretty dry. You have to build the color. And I mean, I've been wearing this collection for the last few days and um, they hold throughout the day, but Yes, you're gonna see what I'm talking right now. So for me, that's usually a huge no. But as I said, they last long, so I do have time, so I'm going to build it up. But yeah, I actually think I applied some lighter lipstick in the middle. Yeah, I applied this Dose of Colors sand uh, shade. To... Like that, yeah. So, so, so. Finger. Let me move finger. <laughs> yeah, that was the combo. And now I'm gonna try and put on some lashes. So today I'm gonna use the tees from Lily Lashes. Um, these are pretty much very, um, I wore them once, um, but they're like really uh, natural looking. So I just apply my lashes and I put mascara on my bottom lashes and I'm done. What do you think? If you like this video, please like it, comment down below, and of course subscribe until we see each other in the next one. I think we're done and see you in my next tutorial. Bye!